My name is Jack, and this is what I look like. I drew this sketch of myself yesterday. I always liked art, but when I was 12 years old, I was not the artist that I wanted to be. I wanted to have an artist hand, which means a more fluid art style where your ideas flow from the pen to the paper as quickly as they come to your head. In order to get an artist's hand, you need a lot of practice, but when I was 12, I was diagnosed with systematic juvenile arthritis. I was so tired I couldn't even pick up a pencil and I missed 138 days of school. I wasn't sure if I would be able to keep drawing and improving my skills. One night after I finished a water polo game, I noticed a rash on my legs. Over the next few weeks, it kept spreading and I started getting sore joints and fevers. Eventually, my mom took me to the hospital. None of the doctors knew what was going on. They thought it could be some kind of infectious disease, maybe a rheumatic fever, but nothing they tried was helping. Eventually, I was referred to the rheumatology clinic and I was so sick that they admitted me to the hospital that day. I was very sick for a couple of days and I only remember how tired I was. My parents helped me keep my spirits up. They are both artists. My dad was a film director and is now a sculptor of metal and wood and my mom is a painter. They knew how important drawing was to me, and they brought me my sketchbooks and paper. That week in the hospital, when I probably should have been doing homework, I did more drawing than I had in the entire previous month. Slowly, throughout the week, I noticed that my hand was becoming more fluid with each drawing. I remember at the end of the week, drawing a page of characters that just felt effortless to draw, but looked beautiful to me. As I was looking at the page, I realized I had an artist's hand. Over the next few years, my arthritis slowly began to get better and I have been drawing of a storm. I was commissioned to draw the donor report for the Alberta Children's Hospital Foundation. I started painting at the art and arthritis workshops at the hospital and at home with my mom. I have been writing stories and developing many characters for comic books that I want to illustrate someday. It was painful and scary to get arthritis, but now I often forget that I even have it. Even though I am on an immunosuppressive medication, and the strange thing is, arthritis actually gave me something else. It gave me the artist's hand and the motivation to keep practicing. My art style did change, but I like it even better now.